beneath the surface of your screens, a fierce battle rages on between state-of-the-art technology and skilled hackers. Ever wondered how malware transformed from simple pranks to cyber weapons that can cripple nations? Dive deep with us as we journey through the intricate history of malware, tracing its footsteps from its very first days to the sophisticated monster it's become. If you've ever been curious about the unseen threats lurking online, this is one exploration you won't want to miss. Smash that like button, subscribe, and let's unravel this digital mystery together. The late 70s and early 80s was a time of mullets, disco, and the first ever personal computers. But amidst this boom, a sneaky program called Elk Cloner emerged. It wasn't created for malice, but more as a prank. Written by a high school student, it spread via floppy disks, displaying a cheeky poem after the 50th boot of the system. It was a time when digital pranks were innocent and harmless. But this period set the stage for what was to come, proving that computers could be manipulated remotely, instilling ideas in a curious hacker's mind. In the 90s, the age of the Backstreet Boys, slap bracelets and dial-up internet. With its advent, however, came vulnerabilities. The Morris Worm is a name that sends shivers down the spine of any tech historian. Created by a student named Robert Morris, this worm replicated aggressively, slowing down thousands of computers and causing between 10 to 100 million dollars in damages. It was reportedly an experiment gone wrong, but it taught the world a crucial lesson about the dangers lurking in the cyber shadows. In the 2000s, it started escalating. A time when everyone was freaking out about Y2K, the iPod was the hottest gadget, and Paris Hilton was, well, everywhere. But in the digital underground, things were getting sinister. Trojans, pretending to be innocent software, tricked users into downloading malicious payloads. The notorious Maidu made headlines, spreading through email and causing a global digital pandemonium. It's estimated that at its peak, MyDoom affected one in every 12 emails. Then came Conficker, which created botnets, armies of zombie computers. Imagine your computer, unknown to you, becoming a pawn in a digital chess game, working for malicious entities. Enter the era of Facebook dominance, hipster beards, and selfie sticks. But on the darker side of the screen, malware had a new profitable business model, ransomware. Suddenly, people worldwide were met with chilling messages on their screens, stating that their files had been encrypted. The only way to get them back? Pay a handsome sum, usually in Bitcoin. And who can forget Stuxnet? It read like a spy thriller. A worm believed to be crafted by state entities, it specifically targeted Iranian nuclear facilities, sabotaging equipment. It was one of the first instances where digital malware had real, tangible, physical consequences. Fast forward to the age of TikTok, home workouts, and AI-driven tech. As machine learning and AI made their way into our homes, assisting us in everything from recipes to recommendations, malware developers took notice. New strains of malware now use AI to adapt to defenses in real time. They learn, they modify, and they find ways to infiltrate even the most fortified digital fortresses. Imagine a thief who can instantly learn to pick any lock or a spy who can blend seamlessly into any environment. That's the challenge cybersecurity experts are up against in this era. From the playful pranks of Elk Cloner to the menacing might of AI-driven malware, our journey through the history of cyber threats showcases a dynamic, ever-evolving landscape. But here's the silver lining, as the threats evolve, so do our defenses. From individuals to giant corporations, the importance of cybersecurity is more pronounced than ever. While the game of cat and mouse continues, knowledge, vigilance, and updated technology remain our best allies in this digital age. So, the next time your antivirus prompts you for an update, or you're advised to use a stronger password, remember? You're not just protecting your data, you're part of a grand legacy of defenders in the World Wide Web.